It is the kind of frenzy that many people in Australia say they have missed for too long. Booking flights for international travel. The country closed its borders in March last year, but from November the 1st, citizens and permanent residents and their immediate family members can travel to and from Sydney International Airport without having to quarantine. They'll need to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19, and this easing of restrictions in New South Wales doesn't apply to tourists. The state's premier says a major step forward. I want to open up New South Wales to the world. Uh, we need to rejoin the world. We can't live here in a hermit kingdom. Uh, we've got to open up. And this decision today uh, is, a, is a big one, but it's the right one to get New South Wales connected um, globally. But in neighbouring New Zealand, officials are implementing some of the toughest COVID restrictions in the world. Almost all recent cases have been detected in Auckland. My message today is clear. We need people in Auckland to stick to the alert level three rules. As the Director of Public Health has just said, this outbreak is not in a small number of clusters in a small geographical area. It is affecting people in all parts of Auckland, which makes it everyone's job in Auckland to help prevent its spread. Deputy Prime Minister Grant Robertson said case numbers in Auckland are rising quicker than expected. About 60% of its population have been vaccinated and authorities aim to ramp up immunization drives this weekend. In India, scientists say they are working with local manufacturers to develop technologies to make COVID-19 tests more affordable to many. Overall kit production at the high quality, we were, we were able to bring it down you know, very significantly. And right now, as you know, the costs have come down from 4,500 to all the way to possibly a few hundred rupees. Countries including South Korea, Japan, Thailand and the Philippines are slowly easing restrictions after a steady decrease in COVID cases. And many see that fall as a signal that Asia is well on its way to recovery. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.